Good evening. Would like to welcome you to our city council meeting. I would like to uh, call the meeting to order and ask our uh, city clerk to uh, provide a roll call, please. Councilman Peterson. Present. Councilman Popescu. Here. Mayor Pro Tempore Rigsby. Here. Mayor Brower. Here. I understand Councilman Ziprick had another meeting, but he did plan to attend, but we do have a quorum. Yeah, and in Councilman Ziprick's defense, this was uh, not our usual meeting time, and uh, I think he's probably had a better attendance record than anyone, except for I think Councilman Popescu probably has the best attendance record of anyone up here. But anyway, uh, any items to be added or deleted? No, sir. All right. Uh, the time on the agenda um, for um, oral reports and public participation. Anyone have any items? Seeing none. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Am I missing a line here, or are we uh, going to skip uh, since it's a continued meeting? <laughs> well, 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 well uh, remember that from several weeks ago. Uh, uh, conflicts of interest we'll deal with as we get to uh, item H1, uh, public hearing on some affordable housing listed to be uh, continued. Uh, any. Uh, um, action from staff that's particularly recommended uh, should this be continued uh, potentially to our next meeting in July I've heard some uh, potential recommendations on that so what's the recommendation well <laughs> I, d I don't think we have a, a definite recommendation I I had had some discussion with Mr. Hipsch uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago after our last meeting, and uh, I was under the impression that there, there was a possibility that Corporation for Better Housing would be submitting a further application to the county uh, with a, that might need to go in sometime as early as this August. I don't know that that's still the case, uh, but if it were the case, uh, you could continue this to a meeting at the end of this month um, and then continue it further if uh, there's no time crunch at that point in time. Um, uh, perhaps the city clerk <laughs> would have some input on that. From what I understand, the county will be um, distributing its uh, RFP for the home funds perhaps in August, but it could be as late as September. So. If it occurs in August, we may want to um, up the date a little bit, or at least continue it this one until July 27th to see when the next RFP is going to go out so we can determine at what point we need to have a meeting. Well, it seems like there's at least potential value in uh, having it on the July meeting agenda, so why don't we just continue it to that unless there's any good reason not to. Yeah, the, the one other reason to keep it on the upcoming agenda would be that if you put it on a later agenda and for whatever reason the, the agency decides to go forward and that th this new deadline comes sooner, uh, it would all have to be re-noticed and so forth. By continuing uh, to a date certain that's sooner, we maintain our, our publication and uh, we, it's a little bit simpler procedurally than if we were to call a special meeting and try to move it up. Before I ask for action on that, uh, this is a public hearing. Um, we're on H1, um, A and B. If anyone thinks they can't be here and wishes to speak, I'll open the public hearing. Seeing none, close the public hearing, ready for action on continuing this item. To July 27th is our next. Okay. Boo, continue. I had a comment. <clears throat> sure. Well, one, one of my main concerns, and I actually have multiple concerns about the way this has been proceeding, we've been told numerous times, and we've actually given contradictory information about deadlines. First, it said we had a July 7th meeting, a uh, deadline we had to meet, and that's the reason we're meeting here tonight because of that. Well, it turned out to be that there was no 7th uh, deadline because apparently the 
the application cannot be submitted to the state until the developer had all the funds available. So then the staff tells us that we should continue to the 24th of August, which I actually think was a very good idea because there's still more information that needs to be uh, given to the um, RD Executive Committee. Then five minutes before the meeting, we're all discussing about, but we're not really sure. We might actually have a deadline from the state, but we're not really sure. So we're proceeding in a very fast matter at a very important project that I think we need to look very carefully at. I believe we need to stick with the 24th meeting because I want more information about this before we proceed. And I can tell you by the 27th, we will not be ready, at least I will not be ready, to move forward with this project. This is a $25 million project affecting a very important neighborhood, and I think we're being rushed through it, and I just don't think that's the best way to do go about it. So I would not support a continuation to the 27th, but actually go with the original staff recommendation of the 24th of August. I have a question. If there's an earlier release of the applications, would there be a earlier deadline as well, or would the deadline still be in September? Usually the deadline is a very short time frame. It's seven to ten days within which they have to respond. Um, and they need their entitlements in order to adequately respond to the RFP. We have an action uh, to move this to 27th. Do I hear a second? I'll go ahead and second it. Um, I, I think Councilman Popescu's comments very uh, appropriate, and we have to be very careful. My only purpose of continuing it would be just to make sure we don't miss any legal deadlines. But hey, that's um, uh, my viewpoint. So moved and seconded. Any further comment? Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. So 3-1, uh, continue item 1A and B to um, 727. Um, the next item 2 uh, involves uh, RDA, and um, I'll be glad to turn this over to RDA chairman for joint public uh, hearing. Okay, the RDA is called to order for this item. Um, that's also to be continued to 824, and uh, I guess we would go with the same deadline. I'll move the uh, July 27th meeting for continuation. Okay, uh, I guess we can file your comments under these minutes as well. I would oppose this. Uh, I would f much rather have it until the 24th and give us plenty of time to look into this. I still don't buy the argument that there's these deadlines with the state. I think they're just made up as, l as we go along. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Is there any opposition to, oh, we have to do a public hearing, so. Uh, is there any anybody here who would like to make any comments that they can't make on uh, July 27? Hearing nothing, then we'll close the public hearing and we'll proceed to the vote. Uh, those in favor of the motion, say aye. aye. An aye for me and opposed, there's one. Three to one, this vote passes. Should we just finish the RDA? Sure. Okay, we've got item two um, for the RDA CRA Bill 2010-10, approving purchase agreement for 25368 Durango Loop. Madam Secretary. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, this is another home within the Parkside tract. Um, the owner is the second owner of the home. They originally purchased it from the uh, original owner. Everything was going along fine with the exception that they didn't qualify um, as a, um, an affordable or low income first time home buyer. There was litigation on it, that litigation was settled. Um, <clears throat> however, the owner has now decided that rather than um, fulfill the settlement, which was to allow the home to go into the moderate category until such time as it would be sold and then it would revert to the low income that he wanted to, but rather wanted to sell it and he's offered it to the agency. Um, the agency did offer 142, uh, which is reasonable and within the low income category. And we will uh, pay seller's closing costs 
rather than pay a higher price. And so that has been agreed upon by the seller. Our special counsel, our Kepsch, has drafted the documents. The seller has signed the documents, and he has asked for um, close of escrow in mid-August, which we can um, uh, perform. So if, if this is acceptable to the agency board, then we would move forward to, by the adoption of the resolution. We do have um, applicants that have been screened, and um, it's, so it's a matter of showing the home and finding an applicant that is willing to move, and then we will um, be able to sell in, within a very short period of time. Home is in excellent condition, um, so there isn't much, much cost to prepare it for sale. Okay. Is there a motion? Okay. I'll, I'll make the motion. Um, do, don't we own some other property down there, or did we sell those already? Or This we, isn't the first one we purchased, is it? Oh, no. We, we have purchased several back from the, some of the original owners and, and have resold them. They we, have been resold. Mm -hmm. okay. We have recently um, closed on two properties, um, and we're in the process of getting them ready for sale. Yeah. Okay. Is there a second? second. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Is there any opposition? Seeing none, it's approved. And I guess just to be totally complete, we'll ask if there are any items to be added or deleted. The no, no, sir. Okay. Any comments from the public on items not on the agenda? No. Okay. Then I guess we will adjourn the RDA. We will call City Council back to session. Um, we are now on item three, and this uh, relates to continuing a moratorium on medical marijuana. Mr. City Attorney. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I will try to keep my comments brief. Uh, if you recall, this moratorium was passed uh, about a year ago. It was extended one time. It is now before you for a second and final extension of time for an additional one-year time period. And the reason for this is to allow the city to continue to study the issue. And we are actually awaiting uh, ruling of the uh, court in the Anaheim case that would address some of the issues involved with um, marijuana dispensaries in the state of California. Um, so my recommendation is that you approve the uh, ordinance before you. It does require four votes, affirmative votes, uh, because it is an urgency uh, ordinance to extend the moratorium. If I might just briefly comment uh, again, um, my intent for um, this action is simply uh, not to um, take any positions uh, formally of the council for or against uh, uh, whether we want this kind of business, but certainly um, we want to zone properly for it. And until some of those ambiguities are cleared up and we decide what potentially is best uh, as far as zoning, whether we can um, um, do various actions, uh, that's the intent of uh, having this in place so we don't end up in a position like a neighboring city with other types of businesses that they failed to take zoning action and ended up with with uh, businesses and locations that they've spent millions of dollars trying to rectify because of not planning ahead. Anyway, um, this is a public hearing. Uh, we'll open this for comment and uh, Public hearing is open. If any wishes to s anyone wishes to speak on this item, seeing none, uh, we will close the public hearing. Comments, uh, actions from council. Uh, I move the council bill O-2010-01. Second. Moved and seconded. Any further comment? Seeing none. Uh, any opposition? So we have our four affirmative votes. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, so it is a council bill ordinance, so we get to use our fancy buttons. Uh, do we need our title only, or are you? Right. Okay. We need the title only. We uh, need an action. I to move we read it by title only. Do I have a second? Second. Any opposition to uh, moving by, or by acting with the clerk, or reading by title only, and then taking the formal vote? See no opposition. That passes 4-0. Okay. It is entitled an interim ordinance of the City Council of the City of Loma Linda, imposing as an urgency measure an extended moratorium on the approval, 
commencement, establishment, or operation of medical marijuana dispensaries. And you may vote. And it passes by. So it does get the four uh, affirmative votes and does uh, pass. <laughs> or at least go elsewhere. <laughs> um, reports of uh, councilmen. I just had a, uh, some comments and asking for a clarification. I'm getting a lot of comments in the community back quite often as to when is the new council going to be seated. Obviously, the rest of us know it's going to be the 27th, which is in, I guess, two weeks from now. Uh, the question I have is about three weeks, sorry, uh, is about procedures. W what gets decided by the old council and what gets decided by the new council? So I'm asking for that clarification now from staff. The old council will receive the canvas of the votes and they will adopt the resolution um, pertaining to that. We will have our um, ceremonial goodbyes uh, to Councilman Peterson and Councilman Ziprick. And after that is completed, then we will swear in the new council members and proceed with the agenda, reorganization and so forth. That includes the item we continued tonight? Yes. That's it. Any other? comments from councilman I just have one item I brought up before but um, getting I think more interest although there are some that are adamantly opposed to it uh, but still like to look into serious implementation uh, um, issues and what it would involve to uh, make Loma Linda uh, somewhat of a virtual gated community I've had several neighbors that have been burglarized in the last uh, few months uh, had one just in the last couple of weeks uh, get complaints from all over town about burglary and auto theft that uh, seem to be our key items and uh, we've talked a little bit about it before but certainly we have the ability to uh, cover most of the entrances and exits of uh, Loma Linda with a few cameras um, and you know, there's been recent car uh, jacking case that uh, our red light cameras are very effective and and helping solve since there is a fortunately a scuff law that can't even uh, obey the traffic lights but it wouldn't have helped there um, if he had uh, obeyed those lights so you know um, I, I'd like to uh, at least have staff look a little more uh, into this and sheriff uh, with uh, find out if any other model communities have done this obviously there are privacy issues who would have access how would you get rid of data um, and so forth and we may choose not to go forward but I'd like to uh, give it a nudge to uh, at least uh, start looking at it a little more anyway that's my comment um, reports of officers I, I just wanted to sure add to what you just said that, that is a concern I've heard it often um, in our community uh, also keep in mind that we are going to have a new council one of them is going to be a sheriff's deputy and he has some ideas about what we might be able to do differently um, since we're I guess we're directing staff to do things there's one other item that I forgot to mention and someone brought this to my attention and I guess it's something for the city attorney to look into to see if it's even possible um, people are concerned about the fact that we have a number of sometimes newspapers, sometimes um, clippings with coupons that get thrown in front of driveways. Nobody picks them up and as a result, I've actually, having walked the city streets for more times than I can count, I've seen numerous houses where they just pile up. Uh, one of the constituents asked me if it's possible to write up an ordinance that says that if you distribute some sort of literature, it needs to be placed on the door or you, someone needs to uh, have some sort of a subscription to it, not just be given stuff they don't want. If, if they're given the things, maybe they need to take it to the door rather than just throwing it in someone's yard because it becomes littering if the person's not interested in it. So I don't know if there's anything 
that's even um, being done in other communities? Are there any legal issues of you know constitutional First Amendment rights of free speech of someone being able to you know disseminate information at free will? But you know, are there some rules that can still be applied here without touching that? So maybe that's something for us to look into. Thank you. I'd be happy to look into that. Reports of officers. Nothing listed as far as uh, items to be added. Uh, so unless there's any other uh, comments, uh, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>